Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How are you going? Do you remember how last year I said search is going away because it's easier to ask for something than actually going and look for it yourself? It's the same as me saying, hey, darling, when will I leave those pair of shorts rather than going and look for it? True story. We all do it, right? Well, Google thinks that as well, according to the CEO, because he says in this Wired article last week, Google prepares for a future where search isn't king. And go and have a read of the article. It's mind-blowing. What it tells me is Google has... No clear direction right now. And this is basically because they've launched their new AI tool, uh, which is Gemini. So this replaces Bard, and it's better, <laughs> definitely. Um, there are a lot of people who think it's as good as GPT-4. Um, maybe, yeah. I haven't used it that extensively to, and I've got no reason to, because unless it's you know, a monumental leap above what I'm, we're already doing with chat GPT, there's no reason for me to change workflow. And I can't build my own tools with it and all those sorts of things. And I can with ChatGPT. There's also a paid version of Gemini, which is interesting. And with that, you get the most advanced version of Gemini. But sometimes, only sometimes, which is what they're saying, is that sometimes when you pay for the advanced version, you'll get their best model. But maybe not. <laughs> And one of the things I've also said, which is very, very interesting with advertising, because as I pointed out last week in the show, people had advertising on publishers' sites. And what they're saying is like, oh, well, we can imagine a world where there's no advertising. It's like, what? Sorry? Uh, they said, just look at YouTube. It's like, yeah, you can pay for YouTube premium and not have your, your show interrupted by ads. That's very different. That's a very different ad experience and search experience to what Google Shopping is. The two very different things. Google Shopping is me looking for a product right now. Ads in YouTube as you interrupting my space. That's like television ads. They're very different things. Anyway, go and have a read of that article in Wired. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. But Gemini is a very different animal to what Bard was. You may remember I did a show last year, link in the description, where I showed a search where I'd done, uh, I think it was, where is the best place to buy wholesale paper bags in Sydney? Because client back then, ranking number one, still number one, and also spending a lot of money on ads uh, for searches like that. Google Bard didn't list us in the top 10 results, <laughs> right? Very annoying if you're an advertiser and that starts to happen. And I asked why. Google Bard came back and said, well, your client free shipping threshold is $1,000. Everyone else is cheaper. And that was true. It was right. And that made sense. These are large language models. They understand the language of shoppers. They understand what shoppers want, right? They want fast, preferably free shipping, no shipping costs, or as low as possible, right? So then I went and thought, let's go and do some searches in Gemini and see you know, what it was like when it was doing in Bard and see how different it is. Now, I've already done that other search, and I can tell you right now, my client is number one selection when it comes to Gemini. Nothing has changed. The free shipping threshold is still up there. We've changed nothing. I'd like to claim some sort of responsibility for hacking AI, but no. <laughs> so I went and thought, thought, well, let's go and have a look at Google Shopping trends, and what are the what's the top trending product at the moment? And it's the iPhone 15. And you can see here, I've got two searches. They are exactly the same as volume as far as Google Trends goes. So let's go and do a search for that first one. Buy iPhone Pro 15 Max. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine advertisers, organics. We've got Apple, Apple, JB Hi-Fi, Apple, 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 Apple. Not meant to happen, by the way. Uh, and then we've got Vodafone, JB Hi-Fi again. Anyway, not meant to happen, those duplicates. So then we go into the tool itself, Gemini, and say, where is the best place to buy iPhone Pro 15 Max in Sydney? And it says Apple Store, as you would imagine. These pros and cons, lots of hallucination in here. Not impressed. Uh, and then it has JB Hi-Fi. Interesting. JB Hi-Fi is in the organic results, but it wasn't advertising for any of those uh, you know, any of those ads. It wasn't there. It might during the day, but certainly when I've done the search today, there, there's no ad for that search for JB Hi-Fi. And then down here, we've got Harvey Norman. And they, even were, they weren't in the organic results and they weren't in the ads. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. And then it just says, here's a page from 
the Apple Store itself or Apple.com, which you can go and read. So then the next search I did was this one, buy iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now that is the correct syntax, right? All I've done is change the position of, of these two words, right? And look at the results, completely different. Now we have this lovely uh, knowledge panel down here with all these ads and we've got all the structured data telling us shipping information. Uh, JB Hi-Fi, number one advertiser there. Look at that. Apple, Apple, Apple. Good guys. Harvey Norman's down here. Interesting. Uh, and then up here, we've got Vodafone, Optus. Ooh, look at that. Um, they went in the other ads. And, and there's the organic results, Apple, Apple, Apple. We've got Telstra way down here. Big telco in Australia. And so then we go and have a look at the results that they're saying here. It's like Apple Store, yeah, okay. JB Hi-Fi now, number two, interesting. Harvey Norman, ah, they're spending money. I'm being facetious, I know. I'm being a bit cynical, I know. But I'd love to know what your thoughts are. And I'd love to know what your experience is. And because look at this, Optus and Vodafone. <laughs> and Telstra now. And they weren't there for that same search. And once again, all I've done is change the position of those two words. So that to me is very interesting. Google has no clear direction. It's trying to find out what sticks. Go and read the article because that's what Sundar said. And rather than lead, they're looking for what users want. Now, we don't even have search generative experience in Australia, which has already been in the US for, I don't know how long, ages. But... Where this ends is, I think, there's got to be a Google Shopping. There's got to be some sort of Google Shopping engine because the act of shopping and buying something is very, very different to trying to relax, read, uh, and having Google Ad Network in your face all the time because that's what perplexity is getting around. Um, perplexity is, is not helping me buy things, as I showed last week. Go and watch that show. Link in the description if you haven't already. But please give me your feedback. I'd be very, very interested and have a play with these tools. Uh, we can't get the paid version of Gemini in Australia yet either. So Google's still, for me, floundering and still playing catch up to chat GPT. But one of the biggest announcements, and I'm not even gonna get into it today, is that go and check this one out. Go and have a search for it. It's on my all my socials. Go and have a look for uh, a story about NVIDIA coming out with their own downloadable chatbot if you've got an NVIDIA GPU on your Windows machine. And that that's, that's mind-blowing where that's heading. Because the next step, and what we're still waiting for, is Siri on AI. Hopefully that's helpful. We will see you next week. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. If you've watched this on LinkedIn or Facebook where you can't actually subscribe. But if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.